You might recall that six months ago, I launched a back to work job training and job placement initiative using $45 million of our CARES Act. And the back to work was designed specifically to reach out to Rhode Islanders who had lost their job due to COVID and who were at risk of being long-term unemployed. You know, maybe they're in an industry like retail, like hospitality, that's gonna be struggling for a long time. Maybe, they, maybe their skills were a little bit outdated and so they needed some job training in order to get a different job. So we, we said we're not gonna leave those Rhode Islanders behind. We were gonna dig in and be there for the people who had lost their jobs. And we did it with an eye towards equity. We said more than half will be women, about more than 25% will be people of color. And I'm thrilled to announce today that by the end of the year, by the end of next week, we'll be on track to have more than 5,000 Rhode Islanders who were out of work due to COVID, trained, supported, and matched up with a job. That's incredible. That means the Department of Labor and Training, working with Commerce in my office, They've established in just a few months 130 different training programs and nearly 200 businesses have hired back to work participants. Uh, we've also um, th throughout that provided help for folks who were getting the training. You can't put your life on hold while you go get trained. So we've provided um, housing help, rental help, child care, transportation. I am so proud of the 5,000 people who had the courage and strength and determination to, to pick yourselves back up, get trained, some of you mid-career, mid-crisis, and get a job. 